in this tutorial we are going to explain how to move our player in unity 3 d project open our project and create 3d capsule called layer okay and ensure our player has capsule collider and rigid body component then drag our main camera as a child of our player and create 3D object, 3D sharp file called player movement open file first declare our rigid body and the capsule collider and player speed private rigid body call it rigid body and private capsule collider call it capsule collider and public float speed equal to 0 0.1 here and public camera call it cam We start the method we're going to initialize our rigid body and the capsule collider rigid body equal to get component rigid body okay. and the capsule collider equal to get component Capsule Collider For moving our player with constant speed over time We are going to use Pixel Update method Now we need to define Input method We are going to use a virtual axis Horizontal axis and vertical axis What does it mean? Open our project, edit, and project setting. Input manager. Here we will find a horizontal axis, vertical axis. Horizontal axis, we will use A button and B button, or right and the left directions and in vertical axis we are going to use S button or W button down and up row okay in our script define float X equal to input dot get axis horizontal multiplied by speed okay and float z equal to input dot get axis get axis multiply the by or speed or absolute value of x or absolute value of z greater than zero yes then define our desired move direction 
vector 3 cam we are going to move along our camera cam to transform it forward multiply by z plus cam to transform to right multiply by x and check if our player rigid body velocity squared value less than our speed squared okay then add force to our rigid body add force using our desired vector multiplied by 0.1 f and force mode dot impulse at this point our player has not the ability to move upstairs and jump so we need to declare private o is grounded and jump and the private vector 3 ground contact normal and public float jump force equal to 13f find check ground method call it check ground check ground method we need a recast head and casting a sphere sphere cast from center of the capsule layer with sphere radius capsule radius and casting direction vector zero down and if there is a hit output with maximum distance capsule collider height divided by two minus capsule collider radius plus 0.1 and all check all physical ground layers what does it mean it means we will cast a sphere from center of our player transform position to the end with radius same as our capsule radius and as shown our sphere underground so we need to minus or move it up with capsule collider radius which is minus capsule collider radius and and adding 0.1 to ensure our sphere sphere can hit our ground and there is a hit output now our sorry true and ground contact normal equal to hit dot normal else is ground equal to false and 
our ground contact equal to vector 3 dot up. Now before our player moving, we need to check if our player is ground. So add here and is ground. Okay. Move equal to vector c dot project on plan using our desired move direction and ground norm contact to normal dot normalize. Okay, or and we will remove speed from here. Okay, and desired will equal desired move multiplied by speed after normalizing. Now our player can move our stairs or any play, not only on the ground. In update method, check if input dot get k down k code dot space. We are we will use space button for jumping ifs and jump equal to true okay in fixing update we check if is grounded then we can add rigid body drag five node and the check if jump is true then rigid body drag equal to zero and reset our rigid body velocity along y-axis rigid body dot velocity equal to new vector 3 okay rigid body velocity dot x and zero if zero if along y axis and rigid body dot velocity dot z okay then add force to our rigid body along y direction dot add force Add force new vector three zero along y x along x axis and jump force along y axis and zero along z axis and force mode dot impulse now let us check our player movement but first we need to freeze our player rotation in along our x direction and z direction and increase our speed to three check now our player can move forward backward right left we need to rotate our player using 
mouse directions so we will use a script called mouse look script you can get it from standard assets right? in this script there is initial method using our character transport position and our camera position so in our player movement script we need to declare our public mouse lock call it mouse lock equal to new mouse lock and in the start method we need to initialize our mouse lock mouse lock <coughs> dot initialize here our transform player transform and cam dot transform okay in update method we are going to call rotate view method in this method we use lock rotation method for rotate our player according to mouse directions and move our player rigid body in this new direction let us test as shown our player rotate let's bring our mouse and can walk upstairs yeah. and they can jump okay 